Let me show you three secret features to customize your music ads with Hypedit's music ad automation. Hey, it's John here at Hyped It. And in this video, I wanna share with you three secret features that you can use to customize your music ad campaigns that you're launching with Hyped It's music ad automation. So we're gonna talk about custom videos, custom ads targeting, and custom languages for your music ads on Facebook and Instagram. But before we jump in, don't forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell icon below so that you can get more videos like this on YouTube on how to effectively grow more listeners, streams, and fans on Spotify with Facebook and Instagram ads. I'm on the Hypedit homepage right now here at hypedit.com. And the reason why I use Hypedit as a tool to run and launch and manage all my music ad campaigns is because it makes the entire thing super easy and super fun. Launching music ads, especially on Facebook and Instagram, can be a terribly complicated process with like a gazillion knobs and switches and settings, and you have no idea what's going on or what to use, but the software does. So all of this is built into Hypedit, and that means all you gotta do is give it your music and give it a few basic information about your music, and then the software will create these entire custom-built music ad campaigns for you in just a few minutes. And so what I really love about it is that in the past, I had to really plan ahead. If I had a new release coming up, I had to start setting up my campaigns days in advance. I had to deal with like the pixel and the conversion events and the landing pages and all of this. And right now, all I got to do is wake up on release day and then I'm going to turn on my computer and five minutes later, I have a campaign running. In fact, I recently posted a video where I walk through the entire campaign launch on the morning of a release. And now this whole thing comes together in just a few minutes. So if this is something that interests you, I'm going to leave a link above for you to check that out. And if you've launched a couple of music ad campaigns with Hyped It already, then I think you love these advanced sort of secret features that I'm gonna show you in this video. Starting with number one, custom video uploads. I'm logged into Hyped It right now and to demo this feature for you, I'm gonna click on the green plus icon here on my ad campaigns dashboard tab and I'm going to select any of these templates. One of my favorite templates is the Grow My Spotify playlist because it grows a song with a playlist at the same time. And so I'm gonna use this one here to show you this feature. Step number one is to connect to Facebook. So the ad campaign can be set up and linked to your Facebook fan page, your Instagram account, your ad account and your pixel. This has already happened here because I've run campaigns before, I'm already connected. So all I gotta do here is click next. Now I'm gonna tell Hyped it what I wanna promote. The first question is the playlist URL. So I'm gonna hop over into Spotify this is the URL of the playlist on which I have the song that I want to promote. So I'm going to give Hyped It the playlist first and then enter the Spotify URL of a song on this playlist to promote. In my particular case, I'm going to set this up for a song that has done really well for me in the past, Take Me Down. So I'm going to grab this here. I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to bring this over. So here it is. Now, you might be wondering, John, why are you promoting a track that's on position 24 of this playlist? Don't we have to put the track that we're promoting to the top of the playlist? And the answer is no, you don't have to because the way Hyped It software sets up these ad campaigns, it uses deep links to specific songs on playlists. So it doesn't really matter whether this song is on position 24, on position one, the last position on the playlist, or even whether I move it around while the promotion campaign runs. The ads are set up so that the listeners who see the ad for Take Me Down, they're always going to hear this song first as long as they access Spotify through the Spotify app. So really powerful feature, but that's not one of the secrets. That's just a side benefit here. So let me hop back into Hyped It real quick. Hyped It already pulled the name of the artist, pulled the name of the title. So all I got to do here is set the genre and I'm going to call this Tech House. And then I'm going to go next. And this is where I'm going to show you that first secret feature, which is custom video uploads. By default, Hyped It will import the cover art of the song and then you can add a video effect to it in order to render the cover art into an animated video that plays some of the song in the background. This is what I use by default for all my music campaigns. I feel that attracting an audience with an animated version of the cover art is the perfect way to capture both attention when somebody scrolls down their feed, but at the same time, prepare them for the listening experience that is Spotify. Because in Spotify, you don't have videos. In Spotify, you're really only looking at the cover art and you hear the song. And what I'm trying to attract when I promote my music campaign is not just any fan. I'm trying to attract fans that are most likely gonna enjoy the experience in Spotify and therefore stay on my music and repeat stream it. But sometimes you might have a song where you actually went out 
and you created a full motion video, something that you just want to be seen in your ads. And so this is where I want to show you how to do this in Hypedit. When you get to this section here, there's actually just a simple toggle here. By default, it's set to create. And that means Hypedit literally creates all the videos for the ad that you need automatically. But if you want to use your custom video, all you got to do is flip this to the upload tab here and then grab an MP4 file of the video that you want to show in your ad instead. And what you'll see is that the video preview over here suddenly gets updated with your own custom full motion video. And so that's my secret number one, how to use custom videos in your ad campaigns. And just on a side note, you're not limited to one video. You can upload up to three of these video clips here that you want to use in your ads. And with that, we're moving on to secret feature number two, custom interest targeting. I'm going to continue in the setup process over here. Just going to go next, go to countries. Tier one and tier two, my default countries where I get the best results. So I'm just going to keep this one. Now, this is the section where I'm going to share the next advanced feature with you. First, Hypedit is asking for three to 10 sound alike artists in order to identify the targeting for you. So for this one, I'm going to go with Low Stepper. I'm going to go with David Penn and I'm going to go with Mark Knight. There he is. And then I'm going to click on Generate Interest. And this is where the software goes out and it analyzes the sound like artists that you selected to come back with a recommended list of targetable interests on Facebook and Instagram. So for me, it came back with Tech House, Mark Knight, Dennis Ferrer, Patrick Topping, and Patrick Topping again. So it found two different interests related to Patrick Topping. Now, first thing is I got to figure out which one's which, because if there are two personalities with the same name out there, I want to make sure I target the right one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my mouse and I hovered over each of these interests. And I see this one here comes up as a public figure. And if I hover over here, this one comes up as a DJ. Now, could there be an overlap between the public figure and the DJ? I'm sure they could, but if Facebook has identified two different Patrick toppings, I'm gonna go with the one that's clearly labeled as a DJ because with that one, I know it's the audience I'm trying to reach. So I'm gonna X that out. And if I stay hovering over Patrick Topping, you can see that now the DJ audience is the one that I kept. But that's not even what I wanted to show you. This is just a little additional feature that just popped up in the video as I was going through it here. What I really want to show you is that if you take out one or more of the recommended target interests, you get this function here, add more. You get a function to manually add additional interests to your campaign. Let me scroll this up here so it's in the middle of the screen. Now, this can be a really powerful feature if you want to test target interests that are not necessarily related to your sound like artists. So let's say you wanted to try to target the audience of a big music festival, for example, right? So I could come in here and I could type in ultra music festival, right? A big festival related to EDM music. And this is an audience between six and a half to over seven and a half million people. So that's a great audience. So I can add this here. And that's the advanced aspect of this. If you don't want to go with a default interest, which I recommend if you try this for the first time, because usually I see the biggest success with the default interest. But if you wanted to experiment with interest from a different category, such as music festivals, for example, all you got to do is take out some of the pre-selected ones and then manually add others. Another great use case for this one, if you're promoting a playlist, for example, that is related to a particular mood or activity. Let's say I had a playlist with yoga music or relaxation music, for example. It doesn't apply to this particular song here, but let's say you use this ad automation template to promote your playlist with yoga music on it, right? Sound like artists might not be your best way of targeting, but instead you could come here and you type in yoga and you build your audience around yoga interests. So this is a great way to mix and match some of the interests recommended by the algorithm in the software and things that you might want to test manually. It all flows together here. And this is why this is one of the advanced features that I wanted to show you, which brings me to feature number three, custom languages. I'm going to put back my ultra music festival here. There it is. And then I'm going to move on in the process budget. I'm going to keep this at five bucks. I always want to launch my campaigns at the minimum budget. And then we get to the advanced settings. And this is where that third advanced feature that I want to show you is hiding. All right. By default, the ads are generated in English. It says new music for tech house fans. Listen now on Spotify. Those are the two lines of text that describe the ad. And you might be thinking, John, this is so boring. New music for tech house fans. And I'll say I hear you over the years. I've tested so many different snippets of copy and I found this one to work remarkably well. 
So the ad doesn't say new music for Tech House fans because anybody thinks that's the most exciting line of copy. No, because that's the line of copy that me and my team have seen work the best consistently across all kinds of music ads in various music genres. But that's just on a side note. Really, what I want to talk about here is your ability to update your ad to international languages. Let's say you're promoting a song where the lyrics are in your local language and you're trying to really reach a local audience with your music. And you feel that an ad presented in your local language might be a lot stronger than an ad presented in English. Now you have the ability to customize that. And let me show you how this works. I grew up in Germany, so let me show you what would have to happen if I figured I really want to target a German audience with this song. Basically, what I would do is I'd look at the text and new music for Tech House fans. Well, how do you say that in German? And so I could say Neue Musik für Tech House fans. And then for the ad headline here, I could say Jetzt auf Spotify anhören. And what you'll see over here that the ad text is updated. It's now basically saying the same thing in German. And what I have to do over here is I have to specify the language. The reason why I specify the language is so that the software can set up the ad campaign in a very unique and special way that targets people who speak German, right? If I have my ad in German, I want to make sure I reach an audience that understands the language. And by the way, if you're looking at this and you're living in Germany and you're shaking your head about the way <laughs> how I translated this because it sounds a little clunky, then forgive me. And you know, good thing that for my campaigns, I actually always use English. But that aside, this is a really important feature if your music is in a local language. And by the way, just because the cover updated here, this is still connected to the custom video, of course. So and from here, I'm pretty much done. All I'd have to do is go to next. I see the confirmation of all the settings that I selected. So I would just make sure everything's correct, save as a draft, and then go and publish the campaign. And this is where the software goes out and it connects with Facebook and Instagram. It uploads the ad videos, it uploads the copy, it uploads all the settings, it connects to the pixel, to the conversion API, it sets the conversion events. It makes all the hundreds of settings that have to be made in order to set up a successful campaign. And all of this happens literally in just seconds. And so that's it. The campaign has now been submitted it's in review and it'll just take a couple minutes or a couple hours for Facebook to make it live. And then instantly it's going to bring in more fans, more listeners, more streams to my music on Spotify. Chances are, if you're still watching this video here right now, you've done this before, but now you discovered how you can customize your video, customize your interest settings and customize your language settings. And with that said, I wish you all the best for your next campaign. Want to get your music heard on Spotify with AI? I just launched a brand new video training program called the Spotify Grow Switch, where I show you how to start growing real listeners, real fans and real streams on Spotify in less than 10 minutes using software and AI. I've used the Spotify Grow Switch system to now grow my music to over 7 million streams and tens of thousands of monthly listeners on Spotify. This works for any music genre. It gets you real fans and listeners super fast and it's extremely easy to set up, literally just like flipping a spotlight switch for your music. Despite using AI, you don't need to know nothing about tech stuff in order to be successful with this. I've had the tremendous privilege of helping multiple tens of thousands of music artists grow their music on Spotify, many of which have grown to much larger numbers, lots more listeners, lots more streams than I have using the systems that I've taught. Makes me so proud of their success. And so if you wanna get more real listeners, real fans and real streams for your music fast using state of the art software and AI, then click the link below this video and check out the Spotify Grow Switch. I can't wait to help you grow your music on Spotify and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.